uh, new year, new tech stock, right? Maybe. Despite the siren call of cool new shinies waiting to be explored, I'm going to shock you and myself and stay with what I know, JavaScript. What? Oh, come on, man. Thing is, the stack I'll be using is what I believe to be the most optimal for the project that I'll be building. I'll spill it here at the start. So if all you care about the what, here it is. On the front end, I'll be using Nuxt with SSR and the PWA plugin. In the middle tier, I'll be using Nitro, which comes with Nuxt. On the back end, I'll be hosting on Railway. Data will be stored in Railway Postgres, at least initially. And images and files will be stored in Cloudflare Images and R2. I take choosing a stack very seriously. It's a balance between learning new things and using tried and true technologies that I'm comfortable with. Now that you know the what, let's talk about the why. This will be a window into my thought process. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep watching. The application is essentially a bunch of pages with forms where you fill stuff out and upload pictures and documents. Data being stored is not highly latency sensitive, meaning it doesn't need to be hosted on the edge. Though I do want the images to be in a globally distributed CDN. Users will be logging in occasionally, maybe once or twice a month. So the concurrent user count is going to be fairly low. The value is actually in the backend, where automated workloads will run on schedule and do things like send email alerts, put together AI recommendations based on user data, and so on. If you look at the requirements here, it's low bandwidth, low friction, and like moderate processing on the back end. So I figured centralizing the code might make more sense, therefore a Nuxt monolith. And you know, even if the app grows, the scaling is most likely going to be happening on the back end where all the jobs are. So no problem with a monolith on the front end. Two key things to consider is that I'm building this by myself and time to market is important. I want to launch this in 2025. Oh, Make that three things, actually. Uh, I want it to be cheap to host as well. Now, before I arrived at Railway as my vendor of choice for hosting uh, my app and my database, I also looked at some other options. So let's take a look at those. At first, I thought I wanted to build a mobile app. So Capacitor came to mind. The backend would be served by ASP.NET Core. And the reason here was that uh, you know, I really, like I said, I really enjoy the API writing experience in .NET. And I wanted to apply the modular monolith design pattern, which I think is really cool. But when I looked at the amount of different services I'd have to stitch together on the back end, I became a bit disenchanted with the idea. Also, I did want to have a web app and a mobile app. So the next stack was a complete turnaround. I thought I wanted a one-stop shop on the back end and still wanted a relational database. So Superbase was a good choice here. They have Postgres, object storage, authentication, serverless functions, and even AI. It's a very cool offering and the free tier is very generous, but there are two problems. First, I'm not a fan of row level security, just doesn't click with me. And two, they are a VC backed COVID baby company. So that has me a bit scared, especially when it comes to pricing and of course, vendor lock-in, you know, they could jack up the prices anytime and I'd be screwed because that's my backend. They do offer an open source, self-hostable version of Superbase, but you know that's a chore. I'm developing this alone, so infrastructure is, is not something I'm interested in maintaining. Next, I looked at... <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. By this time, I was pretty sure I was going to be using Nuxt, 
the hosting and database were still up in the air. And I ended up digging deep into Cloudflare's docs for a few days, checking to make sure uh, it all fits my needs. And honestly, they did. This option was actually very compelling. Cloudflare's developer platform is actually very cool. And I looked at my data and I thought, okay, I could kind of move things around and change the schema a bit and fit into D1. And I could use KV and Qs, and they even have AI there too. It's all plug and play, right? So why not? Vendor lock-in. If I'm fully invested in Cloudflare and they screw me in any way, and you know they could, it's going to be a nightmare to peel myself off the floor. And that realization right there made me move to my final option, the one I went with. You know, I love Railway, and recently they even improved their Postgres offering, adding native backups. I'm still not 100% sold on hosting my data there, but if anything, I could always migrate out to Neon or anywhere else Postgres can be hosted. For objects and images, I would still use Cloudflare. I already use Cloudflare CDN and DNS, and I will Dockerize my app so I can host it anywhere. I will also be using Postgres, so really I can host that anywhere too. So theoretically, my stack would be pretty agnostic of the platform, right? I hope so. I did look at some other options, but they quickly fell off the map, either due to cost, I wasn't familiar with them, or they just didn't fit my application's architecture. Render is cool, but expensive. Vercel is, well, expensive. Heroku, just kidding. AWS Amplify, I looked at the docs for a few minutes and I just didn't have it in me. Firebase, actually used before and enjoyed it, but Firestore is not great for my use case and they don't have a good server hosting story either. Pocket base on railway, <laughs> it's a cool concept, but come on, someone show me a production app running on this. On the database side, I looked at Neon, and while I think that's a very solid product, I think it's a bit too serious for this project, at least for now. I looked at Redis Labs too, and quite frankly, I had a great experience working with their platform in the past, but the whole licensing snafu recently left a bad taste in my mouth. Plus, Redis JSON is not really a good fit here, even though it's super fast and really good. Planet Scale was interesting for about 20 seconds until I learned they don't have a free tier. I also looked at Azure, AWS, and GCP, but there's no true production grade free tier on either of those. Ultimately, choosing a tech stack is an exercise in logic and deduction. I wanted to use ASP.NET, but it just didn't make sense for this project. I wanted to use Cloudflare, but I'm not a fan of vendor lock-in, plus .NET wouldn't run on there. Now, it's true that choosing a front-end meta framework like Nuxt is essentially lock-in, right? Because I'm locking myself into Nuxt. But I mean, come on, I'm not going to use web components. And there you have it. Nuxt hosted on Railway with Railway's Postgres and Cloudflare R2 and Cloudflare Images. I've seen worse. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where I'll be talking about, now that I'm using Nuxt, which packages I'll be using in my project. So stay tuned, and I'll see you there. Take care.